With this problem, what we're going to do is we're going to determine whether the reaction that they're giving us is exothermic, meaning it gives off energy into the surrounding, or endothermic, meaning that it absorbs energy. So the first one right here, solid potassium bromide dissolves in water and the solution gets colder. That's important because it's telling you that heat is being absorbed by the water and that's why it's getting colder. So whenever you actually dissolve a salt in water and it gets colder, that reaction is endothermic. It's absorbing energy, uh, heat, and that's why the final temperature is lower than the initial temperature. Natural gas, which is uh, methane, is burned in a furnace. Uh, whenever you're burning methane or any other organic compound, you're going to release energy. So heat is going to be released as you burn any organic compound. And that combustion is going to be an exothermic reaction. Next one, when concentrated sulfuric acid is added to the water, the solution gets hot. Well, what's happening here? It's getting hot. Uh, you're seeing that because the solution is actually, I'm sorry, the system is releasing energy into the atmosphere. So whenever anything gets hot, it's an exothermic reaction. The last one, water is boiled in a tea kettle. Well, heat must be added in order for the water to boil. So whenever we're actually heating up water, the water is absorbing all the heat to get hot, and that is an endothermic reaction. Just as a reminder, whenever you're talking or you're looking at the enthalpy, a negative sign means that the reaction is exothermic. A positive sign means that the reaction is endothermic. So the sign that you see on your enthalpy is only about the direction in which the heat is flowing.